Have you ever wanted to play the music that you have on your um, smartphone or your iPod? The nice stereo music that you can listen to on your headphones. Have you ever wanted to listen to that in an amplified format? Let's say you could play it through a guitar amp or other mono type amp. Uh, how do you do that? So this is going to be a project uh, where I'm going to try to uh, figure out a way that we can do that. Well, what we could do is to take a device like this. It has a plug on one end that would plug into the uh, smartphone. And then on the other end, it has RCA jacks. In this case, they're female jacks. So uh, we could take these female jacks and plug in a cable that has male plugs on it. And then that cable on the other end has quarter inch plugs that we could then plug into our guitar amp. The problem with this solution is we've got a right and a left. It's take split those uh, that stereo signal coming out of the uh, iPhone or the uh, smartphone into a right and a left channel. And so I don't want to make the choice between right or left. I want to hear uh, both channels in our arrangement that we come up with. So how can we do that? Well, here's a schematic of uh, how I'm going to do it with this project. There's different ways that you can mix those two signals together to get a mono uh, output. But in this uh, method here, we're going to bring it in and we're going to use two resistors here. Um, and what they will do, and then we're going to tie the output together. What these two resistors do is isolate the outputs uh, from the smartphone, the right and left channels. If we just connected those together without these resistors, just connected them together and made a signal that we take over to the amplifier, uh, the smartphone would not function properly. It's, it's not. Uh, it would not have the proper impedance on the output. Uh, it's not set up to short those two together and deliver a signal that's going to be uh, of a quality that we can use. So we're going to use some resistors here for isolation and also to mix the signal together. And I've gotten uh, one, 1K ohms here is what I've listed, but uh, I want to actually play around with that value a little bit and see if that's uh, a good value or if maybe there's one that works a little bit better. But that's what we're going to use to do our stereo to mono conversion. And as far as parts that we're going to use, um, I've accumulated a few parts here. I've got a little project box here that I bought from a vendor online. Most of my local parts stores that carry this kind of thing are no longer around. So I ordered it uh, via the internet. But it was just a couple of bucks plus shipping. So I'm going to use that. It's Pretty small, compact. And then this is going to be my output jack, just a standard quarter inch uh, chassis mount jack that I'm going to use and mount it in the cabinet little case project box there. And then I happen to have on hand a couple of uh, RCA jacks that I'm going to use for the uh, input from the iPhone. So we'll go uh, from this. Uh, plug to this point and then I'll use a cable that has RCA males on both ends to plug into here and then come over to these jacks that are mounted in the box. So I'll go ahead and drill these holes and uh, come back and we'll talk about the rest of it and then try it out. Okay here's the box that I've uh finished here and I mounted the quarter inch jack here and the two RCA jacks here and then I've got a 1000 ohm 1k resistor uh, between the right channel and the uh, the tip of the quarter inch plug and then the same size resistor 1000 ohm to the tip between the tips of the left and the uh, quarter inch and these could be a quarter watt. I think I've used half watt here just because that's what I had. And then I've connected the grounds of these two jacks to the ground of this jack. So very simple method of getting from a uh, stereo input to a mono input. And I tried a couple of different values of 
resistors here and it didn't seem to make any difference that I could tell. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be real critical. I do think it's, I mean you could just tie these together but I think you risk uh, getting clipping and not isolating those. It, it, as I said before these two are, the outputs of the uh, smartphone are really not designed to be tied together so I feel better with it this arrangement here. And um, so anyway, now we're to the point of uh, testing this out and seeing how it works. And I've tried it into a guitar amp and that works really great. Sounds good. And now I have it set up feeding into a uh, small mixer here and um, a line in input. Some jacks here that say line in. And um, then in the main out, coming into an amplifier here that has a, a line-in input. So that's a little more complicated than the arrangement of plugging it into a guitar amp. Uh, but like I said, I tried that and that's just coming into the guitar jack, which is a low level kind of a signal and it works fine also. So let's try it out. Okay, don't know how well the sound will come through on the video here, but it works fine. So there's there's your um, method, and that's our project for converting a stereo signal into a mono signal to play into a mono amplifier. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it's uh, useful to you, and uh, please check out some of our other videos.